John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I am a consumer credit expert, formerly of FICO and Equifax. This is my 30th year in the consumer credit industry. Every once in a while, I get questions from people who think that they're smarter than the credit reporting system. They seem to have come up with what they believe is the latest, greatest hack to the credit reporting system and figured out a way to magically improve people's credit scores. Today I'm gonna to talk about one such theory. This theory is called bumpage and some people also refer to bumpage as choppage and I'm going to define what these silly words mean and then I'm going to discuss them and then try to convince you that you should focus your efforts elsewhere. So when you're looking at the components that go into a credit score, this is them. 35% of the points in your credit score has to do with bad stuff being on your credit reports. 30% of the points in your score have to do with how well you're managing your debt. 15% has to do with the age-related metrics of your credit report, not you, the consumer's age, but the credit report's age. 10% of the points have to do with the account mix or the diversity of the accounts on your credit report. And 10% of your credit score points have to do with hard inquiries. You'll notice this is on the bottom of the list, which means it is the least important aspect of your FICO score, it is the least important aspect of your Vantage score, credit score. It is the low man on the totem pole, all right? So obviously, if you're gonna focus on anything to help improve your credit score, it should be the stuff up here, not necessarily the stuff down there. This isn't why you have a score of 580. This is why you have a score of 580, all right? So bumpage, let me explain what bumpage is. Bumpage is the theory or the hypothesis that the credit reporting agencies have a finite amount of space in their system for every particular consumer. And once that space has been filled with information that they've gotta start getting rid of stuff in order to let new stuff be added. And the theory is, is that when you keep adding new things to a credit report, that the credit bureaus are going to delete your oldest inquiries. And so you have quote unquote bumped your old inquiries off your credit report. The second part of the theory is called choppage, which isn't actually a word. Choppage is the theory that if you're able to get the soft inquiries removed from your credit report, that somehow it makes the bumpage of the hard inquiries more effective. You'll notice a sarcastic tone in my voice that is intentional. So there is no evidence other than YouTube that suggests that bumpage and choppage are actually A, real things, and B, are effective strategies to cause the removal of hard inquiries, which are practically meaningless in your credit score, off of your credit reports. Nonetheless, this particular topic persists and you can find countless amount of information online about the effectiveness of the process. So if I were you, instead of focusing on old inquiries, I would A, focus on the stuff that really matters, which is paying bills on time, controlling the amount of debt that you have, and also if you're going to be added to people's accounts as an authorized user, for example, is that you're added to accounts that are really old because it'll help the average age of the accounts on your credit report. Soft inquiries, and I realize that's not exactly the issue with respect to choppage, it's a theory of spatial limitations in the credit bureaus is really the theory. Soft inquiries have no impact on credit scores whatsoever. You can have a thousand of them. They don't affect your credit score because they're not even seen by credit scoring systems. Hard inquiries, even though they may remain on a credit report for two years, they cease to count in your credit score after 12 months. And you may have a hundred of them that are from age 12 months in a day all the way to two years. And even though they may still physically be on your credit report and visible to you, the consumer, they are not seen by credit scoring systems and therefore they are not having any sort of measurable impact to your credit score. Obviously the inquiries that are less than a year old, that are hard inquiries, do indicate that you've applied for some form of credit. Inquiries are seen by credit scoring systems and they can have a measurable impact to your score. But even if you 
have a few inquiries on your credit report, it's not going to be the reason why you have a bad credit score versus having a good credit score. So if I were you, I would focus on getting derogatory information that is incorrect, either corrected or removed, pay your bills on time, and then you don't have to worry about things like derogatory entries, because if you always pay your bills on time, then you will have no bad stuff on your credit reports. Maintain low balances on your credit cards relative to your limits because those ratios are very important in this particular category. Other things like number of accounts with balances, you wanna limit the number of accounts on your credit report that have balances, that's also very helpful. As your credit report ages organically, you're gonna earn more points by doing nothing other than allowing your credit report to age. So that's, also, that's something that you can do by doing nothing essentially. As you build out the different types of accounts on your credit report, increase the mix, then you're gonna earn more of the point in scoring systems. And of course, if you can limit the number of inquiries, meaning only apply for credit when you actually need it, then you're gonna do well in the inquiry category and you're gonna have FICO 780 and Vantage score 790 and you're gonna have lenders throwing money at you at historically low rates and you're gonna be happy as a borrower because functioning effectively within the scoring environment. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any other questions about bumpage or choppage, then please leave them in the section below. I will do my best to answer them. Have a great rest of your day and thank you very much for watching. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.